Hey y'all. Hey y'all, that was really harsh and abrupt. Hey you guys. What's up? How you doing? Welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see, your sis is late for the gods. <laughs> um, so today's video, I did a twist out using the Main Choice Styling Cream, specifically the Type 4 Clover line, um, which is designed exactly for Type 4 hair, like for myself. Um, so I will be showing you guys how I achieved this bomb twist out in my opinion. I did two strand twists um, So yeah, just keep on watching so you guys can learn more um, obviously I Feel like I look so cute <laughs> um, But yeah, so I'm gonna walk so this video also is gonna be a little different than what you guys are used to Let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy it this way or what let me know what you think i'm going to switch things up a little bit so i hope that you guys can appreciate that and let me know what you guys think so i'm gonna walk you through step by step what i did so what did i do so i washed my hair and i let i co-washed it actually then i used bands to stretch my hair overnight so if you guys want to see kind of how i band my hair then that will be a separate video for you guys so be on the lookout for that so i banded my hair so i can get my hair stretched and ready to go that way it, that my hair could reach its full potential with you know the length and that way there wasn't any shrinkage so i did that and then the next day so i kind of split it up into two days that way that i wasn't like rushed and i had time to actually stretch my hair overnight without using heat um so then i did that and then the next morning Actually, it was more so the afternoon. I two stranded twisted my hair. You guys have seen two strand twists all over YouTube, all as well as all over my videos. So essentially, I just literally two strand twist. So what I did do different this time, instead of me wetting my hair, I used the olive oil setting mousse to kind of concentrate my hair as if like a like a water component, but I didn't use water again because again I had stretched my hair overnight and it was completely air dried, and I didn't want to kind of put water back on my hair to revert it. So I simply just used that olive oil styling mousse as kind of like my water for this twist out. And then I went in with my, I'm um, sorry, I went in with the main choice um, styling cream on top of that. And then I just detangle and then twisted it. So I did these a little larger than what I also think I typically do because my hair was stretched. I felt like I had that advantage this time because I felt like I could not do super tiny twists because my hair is growing and I felt that my hair was much shorter but really when I see it in the stretch state I feel like it's actually growing and I'm actually seeing it and I like the shape and stuff. I did larger sections this time, not too too large, not extremely large, just bigger. I would say like more so medium size than anything. And then like on the areas that may have been like an awkward size, I did a three strand twist. So I'm actually thinking about doing a full three strand twist on all of my hair. I haven't done that before, but I've just done a little bit here and there for like the sections that are too big for a two strand twist, too small to be separated into two separate two strand twists. So those are when when I use the three strand twist as an opportunity. So um, so I did that in my whole entire head and it didn't take me long at all. I just listened to some music and vibed out and just twisted my hair back. Um, I did use gel, but only on like one of these sections. Oh, right here. I forgot to take it out. Only on one of the sections and I did the rest of my hair with simply just that styling cream and that mousse. No gel girl except on that one section. What else did your girl do? So then... I um, went to sleep, woke up. So I did band my hair again. Dream is sneezing in the background. So I did band my hair again just because my hair, whenever I go to sleep with two strands twists, they always shrivel up. So I was like, you know, I don't want to kind of completely disregard what I worked so hard to stretch my hair out before. So I did band my hair again. Again, a separate video will be coming soon. Um, and I do have tea on that because I learned that I was doing the banding method completely incorrect and now your girl's a G at it. So anyway, so I did that and then what else did I do? Took the bands out this morning. So took the bands out this morning and then I unraveled the twist. I unraveled the twist using my 
Brazil nut oil. I got it from the hair store. I really like it. It smells good. It's supposed to be good for like moisturizing, of course, like sealing it and then strengthening your hair and then like promoting hair growth. So you guys know that I'm all on like this big hair growth thing. So anything that has like anything shortly, remotely with hair growth, I'm all on it. I just put some in my hands and then rubbed it all over my strands. Um, and then I went ahead and took it out. I did not use the Gold Series hydrating oil that I thought I was gonna use. I like I did on the other video, but you guys can certainly use whatever oil you have. Again, I just am really pressed about growing my hair. So like <laughs> I've been trying to like switch it up and um, I'm just gonna see how well it works on my hair. I was also looking for the Moroccan oil at the hair store, I did not see any. So if you guys know where I can get it, let me know in the comments down below. Sush. So yeah, so then I took it out and as y'all can see, my hair is super cute, big, full, lengthy, has a great shape to it. Um, the strands are very defined. Again, no gel, just those two products, the mainly just that main choice product I wanna give the credit to. Super full, juicy, rejuvenated, and it had a nice hold to the curls as well. Looks really nice, my hair feels really good. It smells even better. I just literally think I have never tried main choice before, before I bought the two items that I have now. And girl, I have been missing out. So yeah, I put oil all over, unraveled my twist, and then I undid some of the two strand twists, not all of them, and I chose to only do some, like you'll see in this section right here, I did some where I unraveled the two strands twist. So you see a little frizz, which is okay, because I like voluminous um, twist outs anyway but I just didn't want it to be too frizzy and I have a hard time with figuring out when it's okay to continue to unravel and when to stop. So I've noticed that if I do like a few, kind of like up front, right here, right here, then it's good enough for me, especially because I want this to last. I don't want it to be a big frizz ball by tomorrow. So I want this to last at least a week. <laughs> do you guys think we can do it? I don't know, um, but we'll see. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so yeah, so I only unraveled like certain sections of my hair. The other pieces are still in the original two strand twist that I just unraveled one time. But yeah, so I think it looks really good. And then I went in with my pick and just went through the sections and just tried to raise it up a little bit. And again, I like my hair to be voluminous, big, popping. So I went in with this. Again, I don't wanna cause any frizz and I really didn't understand what people meant by that until I actually did it today. Like I can literally feel when my hair is about to frizz up. So you literally have to like take your time and it's gonna take you multiple chances for you to actually see like, yeah, I should chill out. Like if you feel like you're being too harsh on your hair, you'll definitely be like, oh yeah, this is gonna be frizzy. And you're right, nine times out of 10. Um, so yeah, so even with this pick, I like didn't want to go OD with it. So I just try to like gently raise my hair up a little bit just so that it gives me the height and the, the body that I want, but I didn't want to OD on it. So I simply just raised it up with that and yeah. And so that what you guys see is literally all I did. Um, and yeah, so I hope that you guys like my twist out because I love it and I feel like, girl, I can take over the world. Girl, you know, like seriously, this is probably like the best twist out I've ever had. And this is probably not even the best twist out that I'll ever do. But for right now, sis, I think this is the best. And I think it's just because I'm learning more about my hair. So like, I'm learning that, you know, what to do, what not to do, what to put in, what not to put in, like so forth. And when people say that, they actually are like gems for that because you literally have to take the time out to understand your hair. And I still have so much more to learn, but just kind of like making small adjustments have helped me tremendously. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited to see what happens. All I did, and I really love it, I really, really love it. I hope that you guys do too, and I hope that you get inspired by this video to do your own twist out. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm more than open to help you guys all out. Um, and that's it. Let me know down below what you guys think. And I have to go to work, so. And I woke up really, really early for y'all, so I hope that you guys appreciate my hard work and dedication over here sis but yeah i love you guys and i appreciate you all for watching i hope that you guys come back i hope that you guys subscribe because do not sell yourself short 
because I know that you don't realize right now how much you need me in your life, but I'm here to let you know I never disappoint, okay? Period. So go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Am I a stylist? Let me know. I don't know. Girl. I came through for y'all today. And myself. I'm not going to be popping, girl. Twist out. Mm. People are not natural in this world and I still don't understand it. Like, how do y'all operate? I don't know. I don't mean to be judging because I'm a natural girl, but I'm judging. But anyway, I'm gonna leave y'all alone. But let's look at it. I'm gonna give y'all, we're gonna take about 10 minutes or <laughs> 10 seconds for a moment of silence with this twist out. Girl, you are a gem. Just know that. y'all i love you guys